thought he'd kill the boy. Let's hope no one's been hit by this smooth mineral. A deck of tarot cards, very popular among street performers. Someone has over-egged the pudding with these spangles. The name of the original performer has been replaced with... Dilwyn. You know what? Put on the magic cap. I have a feeling it will help. It's not actually magic, John. Well, not to you, perhaps, but to a boy, any magician's hat is special. Should have known better than to jostle a police officer. It's all right, boy. You can come out. Your pursuer has been intercepted by Cordona's finest. I didn't do. It's my hat you're wearing. I know it is. I followed you from your magic stand. Are you okay? I'm fine. You should keep the hat. It makes you look like the amazing Alonzo. He's the best magician around. It never suited me anyway. Hmm. Is that so? Let me take a look at you. You're skinny, underfed, and bruised from a life of hardship, but you stand straight and proud. You do what you must to survive. Fortunately, you are blessed with a keen mind and have put it to use exchanging insight for income. Commendable for someone so young. Nah, you got it all wrong, mister. That's okay, nobody can see like I do. Clearly. So, tell me, why did you call that man a liar? Because he is. He told me he's a lord. But no lord has calluses on his hands and sour cabbage stuck in his moustache. He came after me. He caught me with a fist. Nasty bugger. What did you expect? You embarrassed him in front of his peers and he couldn't admit it. Of course he would lash out. You must be careful how you deploy the truth, Dilwyn. It's a potent weapon, as easily turned against the speaker as it is brandished by him. Yeah, well, the truth is what people pay me for. I simply notice things others don't. But I think you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yes, I can do it too. It's called deductive reasoning. I happen to be somewhat of an expert in it. I never knew there was anyone else like me. Your abilities come with consequences, Dilwyn. To adults, you're a nuisance. To other kids, a freak. You must learn how to blend in. Bite your tongue. But I don't want to blend in. Then they will lock you up. The truth hurts, and the bigger the truth, the further men will go to silence it. Be careful how and when you deploy it. All right. I mean, it was just an amusement. 
Yes, nothing like a swift uppercut to really pass the time. Perhaps when faced with the monotony of this world, you will find a place in your mind to explore instead. There is little to gain in idle provocation. Don't let this little incident discourage you from continuing your show. The world needs a little magic these days. Are you kidding? When the word gets out, there'll be a cue for me down the street. No way I'm quitting. Good, but dispense with those cheap trinkets. Your mind is impressive enough. And be careful what truths you tell. The show must go on. I'll be famous. Just you wait. Before you go, impress me. What do you see? You're overconfident as a way to mask your insecurities. You're more vain than you care to admit. And you notice when people notice you. You act like you don't need anyone because it's easier to pretend you like being alone than to ask for help. You desperately hope to find some way you belong. But you never will. Nowhere, no one will ever be enough. And the truth is, you're terrified. You're too smart and too empty inside. You know how dangerous that is. And you know exactly what you're capable of. I, uh, well, uh, val a valiant attempt, but alas, um, you've missed the mark. Oh, really? Well, what does John think? Sherlock, did he just... Um... How? I... I, I don't know.